Let's look at the actuator wiring for different control signals, including two-position, floating, and modulating. To demonstrate two-position control, we have wired a two-position GMA spring return actuator by connecting the red wire number one to the 24 VAC power and the black wire number two to common. When the power is applied, the actuator drives full open. Now, remove the power and the actuator spring returns to the zero position. To demonstrate floating control, we have wired a floating control GDE non-spring return actuator by connecting the red wire number one to the power, violet number six wire for clockwise operation, and the orange wire number seven for counterclockwise operation. When the signal is applied to the violet number 6 wire, the actuator drives open in 90 seconds. When the signal is removed, the actuator stops and remains in position until another signal is received. When the signal is applied to the orange number 7 wire, the actuator drives closed in 90 seconds. If you need to change the rotation direction of the actuator, simply reverse the orange and violet wires at the controller. To demonstrate modulating control, we have wired a modulating 0 to 10 VDC GCA spring return actuator by connecting the red wire number 1 to the power, the black wire number 2 to the common, and the gray number 8 wire to the 0 to 10 VDC control signal. For feedback, the pink wire number 9 is connected to an analog input module of the controller. Apply power. As the control signal changes, the actuator rotates until it reaches the commanded position. The feedback signal follows the actuator's position, providing verification of damper position. Let's demonstrate how to set the built-in auxiliary switches. Auxiliary switches provide a signal at a preset damper position, which can be used by a relay or a controller. With a factory default setting of switch A at 5 degrees and switch B at 85 degrees, let's set switch A to make contact when the actuator is at 20 degrees and leave switch B set at the default. Note that adjustments can only be performed when the actuator is at the zero position. We've connected switch A, gray, red, S1 wire to common. The gray, blue, S2 wire to the normally closed contact, and the gray-pink S3 wire to the normally open contact. When power is applied, notice that switch A makes at 20 degrees and switches from the normally closed contact to the normally open contact. The start span feature scales the actuator to accept various input signals such as 2 to 10 VDC. Let's adapt this actuator from the standard 0 to 10 VDC signal to a setting of 5 to 10 VDC. First, set the start or offset dial to 5. Since we want the signal to go to 10 volts or an additional 5 volts, set the span dial to 5 volts. When the input signal is applied, the actuator starts moving at 5 volts and stops at 10 volts.